This is a video of Paola Aganu. She is a star for Italy's international volleyball team. And she, like many other black athletes, have faced mistreatment. Here, she is speaking with her agent. The toll waves of misconduct have taken on her as a heavy burden to carry. After a conversation, Paola breaks down and starts crying. As she sheds tears in this clip, her agent tries comforting her by putting his arms around her. This was huge news in Italy as the face of the national team decided to step away from the team. Aganu, an Italian born to Nigerian parents, has had her citizenship and nationality questioned as naysayers continue berating her on if she is Italian or not Italian enough. In that video, the Washington Post transcribed what she said in part. You can't understand, it's my last match in the national team. An emotional Aganu could be heard saying, they asked me why I was Italian, I'm tired. The 23 year old did not specify who she was referring to, but Italian Volleyball Federation head Giuseppe Manfredi told local media that Aganu was racially abused on social media after Italy lost Thursday's semi-final against Brazil. Dear friends of CPAC, Dear American conservatives. Prime Minister Georgia Maloney, in alignment with Republicans, spoke at CPAC. Maloney is also allied with Spain's far-right Vox Party, Poland's ruling Nationalist Law and Justice Party, Sweden's newly formed coalition government led by the anti-immigrant far-right Sweden Democrats Party, which emerged out of Sweden's neo-Nazi movement. Former Greek Prime Minister Yanis Varoufakis said in a statement on the Italian election, quote, Italians must now repeat what their ancestors once did defeat fascism, but not for the return of the politics as usual that brought the fascists to power in the first place, he said. Natasha Leonard of The Intercept wrote of Maloney, she's a fascist keen to stop abortions and do away with employment quotas that favor women, quite literally shuttering women in the nuclear home while locking out immigrant women from Italy's body politic altogether. The conversations George Newth made note of Maloney's racist views, in particular her depiction of immigration as an invasion, a pure dog whistle to great replacement theory Nazi talking points. Joe Biden's five million illegal aliens are on the verge of replacing you. Which many in our own political sphere have used as recently as last week. Two Senate hopefuls who are goobers for billionaires will do anything for a tax cut, allow themselves to be the ultra riches toy and pandering nonsensically to Donald Trump for votes while getting a sliver of power, that being Blake Masters and J.D. Vance, have uttered the same language in desperation. It's not just five Fox News, you have GOP lawmakers echoing this, quote, great replacement theory, including New York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik. Back in September, Albany's Times Union editorial board wrote, quote, Stefanik isn't so brazen as to use the slogans themselves. Rather, she couches the hate in alarmist, anti-immigrant rhetoric that's become standard fare for the party of Donald Trump. And she doesn't quite attack immigrants directly. Instead, she alleges that Democrats are looking to grant citizenship to undocumented immigrants in order to gain a permanent liberal majority, or as she calls it, a permanent election insurrection. Which brings us back to Paola Aganu. To think that I have read people asking me why I am Italian makes me wonder why I should represent these kinds of people, she said. We athletes give everything in every game and it hurts to hear that i don't deserve to wear this jersey she told rai television as cnn notes agana received her citizenship only at the age of 14 when her father obtained an italian passport italian media said the very target maloney has cast in her rise to prime minister now italian sports have faced a long history of racism from their fans. In 2017, striker Mario Balotelli, who was born in the southern city of Palermo to Ghanaian parents, was racially abused by fans of the national football team during a match against Romania. Offenses linked to an athlete's ethnicity, national origin, or facial features represent 80% of discriminatory attacks registered by the National Observatory Against Discrimination in Sport, according to its director, Luigi Manconi. It's an element that is presented in sports that needs to be fought against, Manconi said. We always need to maintain high vigilance. Agano has 
reportedly said that she will take a step back, though she has not confirmed or denied that she has quit the team altogether. Critics of the incoming government, the Brothers of Italy Party, argue because of their politics and the rhetoric that they have put forth, the country will now be much less accepting and more racist. They take office this month.